What goes through your mind when you're, in, you're starting quizzer competitions? Ever dealt with an eating disorder? What universities are you applying to? How to deal with school and gymnastics and also some extra activities? Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So, for today's video, I was completely out of ideas, so what I did is I just asked you guys on my Instagram story and my community tab to just ask or tell me absolutely anything, and we'll be doing a bit of a Q&A session here. Because, you know, these videos are fun. We'll just, yeah, be answering all your questions, so let, let's get started. Okay, first question I got here was talking about dealing with injuries and everything. So I've been fortunate that I haven't had to deal with a lot of injuries in my career. Like I had one major injury when I was maybe 10 and maybe a couple of small things up until last year, earlier this year where I had like injury in my foot and then my back, which took four or five months, I think, to recover both of them. And it was pretty tough for me. Like, yeah, I, could, I couldn't do a lot of my movements properly in my routines like I was used to. And it was frustrating because I used to be able to do all these things and now it was this pain that like, I, I couldn't do it and I was worried that it was never gonna go back to normal but thankfully after many many physio sessions um, x-ray MRI and all that it took it really just took me completely stopping arching for my back at least for maybe three weeks to a month and then I was slowly able to reintegrate all my arching movements and then I was able to get back into everything along with doing a lot of strengthening for that area so what I would recommend with injuries is to definitely listen to your body. Like take it easy in the beginning because you definitely don't want to be pushing it through pain because that could just make it worse. What universities are you applying to? Well, I actually did the whole university application process last year when I was finishing up grade 12. Actually, no, at the beginning of grade 12. But yeah, grade 12 was last year. I took a gap year this year if you guys didn't know. Uh, so I had no school, which has been great. <laughs> but I am starting university in the fall. I applied to only four different universities, but six programs in total, and I actually got into all my programs, which was great. But I ended up choosing a university that's not too far from where I live. It's maybe like an hour, hour and a half drive from here. Right now, I don't want to specifically give out the name, but I might in the future. Oh, and if you're wondering, my program is like a math and business program. So I do math courses at one university, business courses at another university, and it's like a double degree program. What goes through your mind when you're, in, you're starting post competitions? Oh god, it's been so long since I competed. Like my last competition was February of 2020, so I don't even think I could remember, but I definitely still get nervous before competitions, especially now I would be terrified to compete again. But I'm just saying, if I'm thinking back to when I was competing regularly, regularly, I would still get quite nervous. Like it's a feeling that never goes away, but it, it does kind of settle down a bit once with practice. But I usually have like a little, I don't know, thing that I repeat to myself before my routines. I like take a deep breath. I like to visualize my routines. All that stuff goes on before my routines. I guess I don't visualize my routines right when I'm in the starting pose, but yeah, when I'm right in the starting pose, it's probably like deep breath, say, tell myself a few words and just go for it. I don't know. It's been a while since I competed, so I can't remember exactly. What are your plans and goals for the summer? Are you related? Okay, so to be honest, I don't know what the summer is gonna look like competition wise. I know we have nationals and I know we have another sort of technical trial. We had a technical trial at the end of April, so like a month or two ago, and I did a whole video on like get ready with me for that, so you can check that out up in the corner. Or Yeah, so we might have another one of those technical trials and nationals which are gonna be virtual this year, so it's gonna be the same process as the technical trial where we just record ourselves and have a gym can representative come and watch and then send them off to be judged in September, I think. So I guess that's everything for me, like competitions wise, otherwise I'm training, uh, maybe doing some coaching, and of course, filming these tutorial videos for you guys. I do them like every other week, I would say. How is training? Training has been up and down lately. If you saw my last vlog, I'm sorry, that was quite a depressing start to the video. I've had a really rough time those, those few weeks and still things have been up and down, but today particularly was better, so I'm in a good mood right now. I'm just working to get my, get my routines back together and just prepare for these competitions. But yeah, training today in particular went went pretty well. 2022 Commonwealth Games. I mean, that would be great. I don't know, but that would be, that would be nice. Do you like the uh, Averinas? What is it? Averina or Averina? I don't know. The, the twins? Yeah, I like them. They're, they're really, really good. Who's your favorite gymnast? This year, I really like the Belarusians, so both Salos and Harnasco, I really like this year, and also Boriana Kalin from Bulgaria. And then, it's my sister writing, um, BTS lyrics in my question sticker. I've lost her to BTS, guys. Help. 
Do you know of any online competitions currently happening? Online competitions? Not sure, honestly. Um, I know as of the day I'm filming this, this weekend is going to be all the continental championships. So Asian championships are right now, European championships are starting, the Pan Ams are starting. Yeah, I know those are all going on right now, those are all in person, but um, online competitions, honestly, I'm not too sure right now. I haven't been paying too much attention to those. Oh yeah, I also asked for um, video ideas in, in my question sticker on Instagram and you guys, you guys had a lot of great suggestions, so I'll definitely get on to your suggestions soon. Ever dealt with an eating disorder? Um, I don't think, not specifically an eating disorder, but I have had a really tough time lately with my weight and with food and all that stuff. I haven't been like specifically diagnosed with an eating disorder, but I definitely have a, a tough time with, with all that stuff. So I talked a little bit about it in that Get Ready With Me video if you want to listen to it, but things are still tough in, in that realm. How to deal with school and gymnastics and also some extra activities. Love you. I love you too. Um, and in terms of the, yeah, the balancing everything, that, that was tough for me. This year I was really grateful to not have to worry about school so I could just worry about my training and also this channel and everything. But when I did have school and training and everything else, honestly I didn't have time for much else outside of training and school. But what I did actually with my mom at the beginning of high school was we planned out all my courses like in grade nine, we planned out all my courses from grade nine to 12, and we planned it out in such a way that I would do summer school every summer, so that by the time I got to grade 11 and 12, I had a lighter course load, so I could do less courses and spend more time training, and not have to worry about so many courses, especially when it's important, like grade 11 and 12. So that really helped me, but I think time management is a big, big thing. Like if you manage your time properly, you should be able to do both, but it also comes down to discipline. Right when you come home, like from training, I eat, I do my homework right away, try to get it all done and go to sleep at a reasonable time so I can wake up and actually have energy to survive the next day. It was definitely tough in like grade 11 and the beginning of grade 12 and then halfway through grade 12 was the pandemic, so things were a lot easier off there, but, but yeah, it really comes down to good planning and time management and discipline. Do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? Yeah, Hawaiian pizza is my favorite. Can you talk about how you got into the squad? So do you mean like the national team? Um, I guess if you mean the Canadian national team, you have to rank top 10 after Elite Canada, which is basically nationals and nationals. They take 35% of your score from Elite Canada and 65% of your score from nationals. They add them up and the top 10 after that is your national team. So basically I qualified in my first year junior because there's a junior and a senior national team. I was the 10th person to qualify on the junior national team in my first year junior. That was that was really cool for me. I guess that that's how I got into the team and then every year since then I've been on the team. Can you ask, or you mean, can, like, can you ask if I still have my period? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna read some comments from Christina. Ah, oompa loompa doopity scoop. What's red and green and goes around and round? frog in a blender. That's not funny. Sorry. <laughs> that that should not be as funny as it was. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's everything I got from Instagram. I'm gonna go to YouTube now. Umbrella Academy season three trailer. What? There is no season three trailer. That's, that's a picture from season two. Sorry. Yeah, so another question about injuries and recovery and stuff. Well, usually at the end of training, it's good to do conditioning. So like just some exercises to cool down and also work on like your strength. By the time you get home, lot, um, hydrating properly is really important. And after working with my nutritionist, I realized it's important to have a good like post-training meal. So that consists of like good a good amount of protein and carbs. And even like bringing a snack during training, especially if you're having like five hours or longer trainings, it's definitely important to bring a snack. But yeah, I think it's just important post-training or even like towards the end of training to do like conditioning and then make sure you're feeling properly between like food and hydration. What do you think about men doing RG? Um, I haven't watched too much of it, but from what I've seen, it looks pretty cool. Like, it's obviously the same sport, but I think the stuff they do is it's a little bit different. I don't know, but it's cool. I should probably watch it more. But I have seen a couple men in AGG, I think. But I remember there, I was watching, I was at Miss Valentine a few years ago watching some team. It had a man on it, and he was like the most flexible out of everyone. And I was like, whoa. And that was really cool. So from from my experience, men's rhythmic, blah, blah, blah. men's rhythmic gymnastics has been co is cool, but um, haven't seen much of it. But I should probably watch more of it. Why is equipment so expensive, and will Ventrelli ever ship to South Africa? It's so hard to get Ventrelli equipment here. Um, I don't know. I, I yeah, I do I do know that um, RG equipment is quite expensive. Uh, believe me, I've bought my fair share of apparatus. If you check each of my 
apparatus series, you can see all of my collections. I've got a large collection of apparatus. I don't know, maybe it's the way they're made or... I don't know. I, like, I really don't know. I just know it's always been expensive. I think it's gotten a lot more expensive lately too. In terms of Ventrelli shipping to South Africa, I... Sorry, I don't have an answer for that either, but if you want, I could reach out to them and ask what shipping is like to South Africa. Um, I don't know, have you checked their, if you check Venturelli's website, like, I know when I talk a lot about Venturelli, I'm working with Venturelli Canada. It's like a part of the Venturelli company, like that in Canada, I don't know, like, I, I'm not good at business terms either, and then I'm going into a business program, how great. I don't remember all that stuff, but if you go to like the main Venturelli website, I don't know what shipping is like there to see if it ships to South Africa, but I could ask if you want. Okay, I think that is everything that I'm gonna answer for today. Thank you to everyone who sent in your questions and your weird responses. Also, thanks again to everyone who submitted tutorial requests or other video requests. I got a lot of great ideas from this, so there'll definitely be some fun content coming for you guys soon. But anyways, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I read all your comments, I answer them all, so, so feel free to start a conversation in the chat. I love talking to you guys. But yeah, that is, that is it for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe down below if you're not already, and don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys next week. I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye.